Hey, what's up everyone? Crypto Henry here, and today I'm going to tell you about a new cool wallet on the box. It's the One Ink wallet. But very quickly, what is One Ink? So One Ink is basically a DEX aggregator. What is a DEX? A DEX is a decentralized exchange, and you can exchange crypto for one another using a DEX. And these DEXs are decentralized. That's why you call it decentralized exchange. Anyway, I have a DeFi course if you want to check all these details on how DEXs work. You can check it out. But one inch basically, you can check the one inch app and it's going to basically, it's basically a, a DEX aggregator that is going to give you uh, the, the best um, exchange rates for uh, different pairs, right? And it's going to get this from different DEXs. Okay, so if I want to exchange one is for DAI or for USDT or whatever, you have like thousands of different tokens, it's going to give you the rate and basically it's, it's aggregating the best rate from uh, different places. But what we want to talk about now is that about, what about now? Okay, we want to talk about the wallet, right? So the wallet is available on uh, for iPhone and Android. And I have installed the wallet on my Android phone. And uh, let's take a look at it. All right, so let's start by creating a new wallet. By the, by the way, you could import a wallet. For example, you could import your MetaMask wallet or an existing wallet to your new one inch wallet. So basically you can copy paste the recovery phrase or the private key, or you can just even track a wallet. You can paste a, an address um, and simply track that address. Okay, let's actually do it. So I can, um, let's say I just want to track one of my uh, ENS addresses and uh, click import. Wallet is read only. Yes, it's read only because I'm not importing the private keys or um, anything like that. And now I can choose here a different background for the wallet. Click done. Congratulations, you have successfully added a new wallet. This can be your wallet or can be um, simply a wallet that you want to track. Um, okay, I'm going to enable a password and the fingerprint. Yes, let's enable this stuff. And yeah, you can basically use this Uniswap uh, app simply to tar to to you know to to track uh, your assets and to have um, to track your portfolio that you have in your wallet, right? So I can see here that I have some ease, some wrapped ease, open DAO. Um, I might have here some NFTs. Okay, whatever. But what we want is not only to track a wallet, but we also want to um, actually uh, have a, a new wallet, right? You want to transact. So in this case, let's create a new wallet. Let's choose here a cool background. Yeah, this one looks good. Oh, I didn't put the name of the wallet. Uh, but anyway, you also need to create the backup of the wallet. This is extremely important. So we have here this option, backup recovery phrase. And this is one of the most important steps if because if you lose your wallet, you lose your mobile phone, if you have the backup, you are fine. But if you don't have the backup, you will lose your crypto forever, okay? So as you see here, you have uh, the secret words, these 12 secret words. And uh, as you can see here, this phrase is your only chance to recover access to your funds if your usual device is unavailable to you. Okay, so let's continue. And basically now what you need to do is to write down all these words in a piece of paper. By the way, you can check the article below where I tell you the best practices to keep your recovery phrase. And um, I'm not going to do this now exactly for this video, but you should definitely do it. Please, please, please do it. Now, just to make a video shorter, I'm just going ahead and continue without doing the backup of the wallet. But please, do the backup if you are going to put real money in this wallet, okay? Okay, now let's fund our wallet. So you have different networks on the um, on the on this wallet, right? 
So the one inch wallet is going to be compatible with Ethereum, BNB Chain, Polygon, Optimism, Arbitrum, Gnosis, Avalanche, Phantom, Caitlin, and Aurora. And in this case, I think I want to send a little bit of wrapped ETH that I have on the Optimism network. And how do I do this? Well, basically, I can click here, receive, and I have this QR code. All right, and uh, so what I'm going to do now is to open my MetaMask wallet. I already switched here to the Optimism mainnet. And uh, as you can see here, I have a little bit of funds. So I'm going to click send, and I'm going to paste my uh, one inch wallet address. So always double check to make sure that the address is the same. In this case, yes, looks the same. And I'm going to send just 0.001 ETH, which is equivalent to 1.3 USD. So let's go ahead, blah, 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 confirm. I'm going to pay six cents transaction fee. Always double check, triple check everything before doing any transaction, especially double check your address to make sure that you are sending to the right address you definitely don't want to send it any crypto to the wrong address because if you do it you will never be able to recover it again all right so we have received our crypto and the wallet is reminding me to do the backup of course but um remind me later i don't want to do any backup now because i don't want to waste your time but you should definitely do it again. Okay, now we have here a little bit of ease in uh, your um, new wallet. So we have here 0.001 ease. And by the way, you can use this kind of wallet for any amount that you want. However, you need to remember that these wallets in your mobile phone are hot wallets. So your mobile phone, your computer is connected to the internet and consequently is kind of more exposed to hackers. If you really want to be secure on the blockchain, you need to have a hardware wallet. I have a lot of videos talking about this kind of hardware wallet, you know, the Ledger Nano, the Trezor wallet, uh, um, and this is the way of keeping your crypto secure, okay? This kind of wallet on your mobile phone, you should only keep smaller amounts of money don't put your life savings here please because again your wallet might have uh, your um, mobile phone may have a virus or something like that and um, and and you don't want uh, to anything bad to happen to your crypto so okay now let's look at some additional functions so you can click and explore here for example the swap function and i could swap these is for die so we can use this wallet to trade to do anything you want right um you can swap it for die for beefy there are so many tokens you can, you can trade to in this case i'm going to trade it to beefy by the way uh, if you don't know what beefy is you can check this other video over here where i talk about this very cool asset management yield aggregator platform called beefy finance okay so let's go ahead and uh, click swap you need to sign the transaction so it's very cool that you have tons of different tokens that you can trade it for and if you don't find the token that you want here you can also search for the token uh, or add a costume token so it's very easy to use and again by the way you have all these chains that you can uh, select from and also if i want to connect this wallet to other DeFi protocols like ave compound lido i could also do it so i can open here uh, ave and basically this has an inbuilt um, web browser as you can see here i can connect the wallet and, and now i have connected my wallet uh, i can switch to arbitrum because uh, the funds that i have are on Arbitrum. And now, as you can see here, my uh, on Ave is showing that I have here a little bit of um, ETH and I could click supply. Uh, 0.001 ETH is not doing, going to do anything, but as you can see here, it's very cool. And you can interact with other DeFi applications like Ave directly from your one inch wallet. So yeah, it's a pretty cool wallet, very easy to use. You can send, you can receive, you can do whatever you want. And you can even buy crypto, right? You can buy crypto um, using your credit card. Uh, just need to be aware of the fees, of course. But just the same way, you know, um, how you can buy crypto using your MetaMask wallet. By the way, if you want to check how to buy crypto using your MetaMask wallet, you can check this video over here. Oh, and I should have done this at the very beginning. This has a dark mode. How cool is the dark mode? Way better than 
the normal mode, right? Oh, now we are talking. I should have done this dark mode at the beginning. Anyway, I hope this video was useful. And uh, yeah, pretty cool wallet, fully approved. Most important, never forget to do the proper backup of your wallet. And uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.